All right, today we're going to talk about the infamous tree shadow problem. I know you guys all love the tree shadow problem. It's one of the greatest things you'll ever learn in geometry. You have a, a basically what they're going to tell you is there's this there's this uh, oak tree or a pine tree. Uh, the, the kind of tree changes, but it's always usually like 30 feet tall because that's a nice even number for us to deal with. And they say at this time of day. The sun is shining up here. I forgot to draw on the sun, so let me draw a little sun in here. He's a real happy sun. You know, he's smiling, shining down on these people. And as he shines down on them right here, the shadow that it creates, it casts a shadow over here. I drew this. This little black thing is the shadow. And it creates a shadow of uh, six feet. We'll just say six feet. All right? And then we have a guy here. Now, if it was drawn to scale, this guy's like almost halfway as tall as the tree. So he'd be like 15 feet tall, but I didn't draw it to scale because I'm lazy. But let's say that this the dude casts a shadow of uh, one foot. All right? And they're going to say, how tall is the dude? That's always the question. It's either how tall is the dude or how tall is the tree or they'll ask you, how long is the shadow on the tree or how long is the shadow on the dude? All right? So you just set it up. You go... There's it casts a shadow of six feet, so we're gonna put the shadow on top on both sides of the we're gonna make a proportion. And on we're gonna put the the shadow on top over here, one foot. And so both the shadows are on top, the six foot tree shadow and the one foot dude shadow. And then the tree is actually thirty feet tall, so we'll put that over thirty. But we don't know how tall the dude is, and that's what we're trying to find out, so we'll put that in as X. And then we simply just cross multiply the 6 and the x, we cross multiply that, and we multi cross multiply the 30 and the 1. So it's 6x equals 30. Divide both sides by 6 to get x by itself, and x equals 5. So the dude is 5 feet tall. The dude is five feet tall. And that is how you solve dude tree problems. Whether they give you this one or this one or that one or that one, you just create a proportion with the shadows or the the shadows on top. You can do the people on top too, as long as it's as long as it's consistent. And that is how you solve those kinds of problems.